Hey gang, all right, the moment of truth. Yes, I'm getting ahead of myself here, so I will explain in a second what I'm doing. But I actually have to record and use the camera instead of my phone because uh, what I'm working on, take a look at this. All right, there it is right there. That is the 67 Designs mount. And as you're gonna see here in a minute, I have it mounted to the dashboard of a 2021, actually 2022 Chevy three quarter ton pickup truck. And this, it's not tightened up yet, but this is the 67 Designs mount, all the carbon fiber stuff and everything. And I'll explain more in a moment. But I wanted to share this with you to show you guys exactly what it is I am up to behind the scenes. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys over here for a second so you're gonna be kind of crooked. Um, what I did is, um, you guys know I did a ram mount a while back for my uh, Nissan Titan, actually. And the Nissan Titan um, was, it was a pretty popular, oh, that's perfect, look at that, that is perfect. Um, the Nissan Titan was a pretty popular build video, uh, build video, uh, aftermarket little idea that I had. And that's because, oh yeah, perfect. See, you guys can see me driving and there it is. So I was gonna go with Ram mounts again because I'm very familiar with them, but I thought, you know, um, talking to, and watching the videos for a while now, watching the Epic Family Road Trip series and such, as well as some other ones like Expedition Overland and other folks that have Jeeps, they all seem to gravitate towards 67 design. I was like, you know, I saw theirs in their Jeep when I went and saw them. I uh, met up with them over at the um, uh, Mountain West uh, Overland Expo this past year in 2023. Met up with them. I was looking at a Jeep while they were talking to some folks that were coming to visit, you know, say hi, you know, YouTubers and such. And they're really fun to watch and really great people to talk with. I peeked in, got a look around their Jeep, and I seen their 67 designs, and I seen how they had it all. And they're like, you know, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try. I'm going to give 67 designs, you know, a shot. And the other reason why I like the 67 designs versus the Ram mount is Ram has a lot of the tracks and a lot of things like that. But in this Chevy, there are no flat, flat surfaces. Everything's got a slight curve to it in some way, shape or form. And yeah, I could have built a track system like I did in trip and um, did the O-rings like I did in trip and everything. So you guys will have to go back to do it and, and shim it. But I was like, well, I'm not gonna really be vlogging and doing all that kind of stuff in trip. I just need something to hang my phone up and to navigate and to get those messages and such like that. So I looked at 67 design and they had several different types of options, two of which I bought, one by mistake, but hey, We'll get in a second and I'll show you that stuff. So, uh, but yeah, so far so good. Take a look at this. So like I said, it's perfect reach. I'm not stretching. I'm actually sitting really comfortable in the truck right now. I'm sitting really comfortable just driving, doing my thing and I can reach over and tap just fine. I can do perfect. It's working out great. It gives me a spot for a cord that comes down, which is right here. Of course, we got red because it was Reba, but I got a red one. I could probably get a shorter one now because this one's pretty long, but boom, it'll plug in right there and I'll be ready to rock and roll that way. Um, so. I ended up buying a couple of different items because one, I was pretty naive to what would work for the 67 design. Also, I didn't find dealing with their website being very easy. I didn't find it that easy to navigate and decide what I wanted to use because they didn't actually have a lot of photos that I was seeing at the time that showed you the length of that arm, what it looked like in its application on a vehicle. Ram did have a few other photos and I was able to find some stuff. So it made me a little bit more comfortable when I went Ram. Because I went to 67 Designs, I said, you know what, okay, I'll get this, this. It sounds kind of like what I want. I thought 20 millimeter would just work fine for me. Really no other reason, no like really specific cause to do that. So um, then I ended up getting the arm builder and the universal um, holder. So the universal holder is the actual part that holds your phone. And that's this part right here. The Pro Series X plate versus the other plate I ended up getting, and the other plate was the AMPS, A-M-P-S plate. AMPS plate versus the Pro Series base is the 
Pro Series has this flat kind of knurled edge and it's more for in line if you're gonna mount this on the floor or on a flat surface and then they make an arm that actually has a clamp that clamps onto this and just comes straight up. So if you had like a short base and you're gonna melt this on the floor, you can have an arm come up and hold your device that way. Um, it's really deep texture, it's a really tough system and with this carbon fiber and the plastics that grab onto it, it, it bites really good. So I'm really pleased with that. But I realized when I got this that I most likely bought the wrong piece, so I had to go back and I got the arms instead, and that had the ball attached to it, and that's the one I needed there. Um, the other clamps I got, um, the um, arm builder system itself, which was a uh, two ends, uh, it actually is a little bit too long than what I need, but it's got a carbon fiber um, shaft, and it has two ends that accept the ball to it and that works pretty good but as I learned that one's gonna be too long for what I need so I ended up going to the original one that I bought which was the uh, um, arm builder pro series 20 millimeter um, I'll try to put some links or at least I'll have pictures of everything here so you guys can see what I bought on video and b-roll footage and such so because um, after picking out all the options that I have I also ended up going ahead and buying some uh, stainless steel screws as well as some little fiber washers and I also ended up buying the uh, um, the larger flat washer that was rubber um, it was really thick versus the little thin fiber washers that I got so with that being said that left me with a situation that I had to shim the the amps plate no matter what so what I ended up doing ultimately is I used the rubber washer I had I, I kind of like stenciled it out for the shape of the uh, um, the arms mount that little flat plate there that carbon fiber fiber flat plate I traced it out and then I went ahead and cut it and trimmed it down so it wouldn't stick out a lot that just aesthetics more than anything else it wasn't had anything to do with practicality or operation it was just I just didn't want the big o-ring sticking out there so I traced it I cut it down to, to the shape of the base plate and then um, uh, I went ahead and instead of pre-drilling I took a screw I took one of these sheet metal screws and I actually just ran a screw into the rubber where, where the base plate would go, where the hole was at, just to get it started. And so then when I was able to put it in the truck, I could screw it into the truck. I'd have one already hole lined up. I can line it up by hand, screw it in, and uh, then that worked. And I got all the other three screws in, as you see. Um, so am I pleased with it? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm pleased with the system. I'm pleased with how it feels right now. I haven't driven yet, so I'll let you guys know more about that later what is also nice is all made in America and they're from down in Texas so that's cool not as good as being from Wyoming of course uh, but still nonetheless it's a very good thing to see and like I said it feels really good I'm driving I could reach over and it's all good there so uh, but it's not sponsored or anything else I bought all this on my own uh, 67 designs their website could be a little better. They could have some better pictures. Uh, that would be helpful for folks like me that are very naive in some of their products. That'd be the first thing. Um, the second thing would be is there, none of this is all that cheap. It's very subjective to say it should be more money or it should be less or it was comparably priced. I think the base and some of those things, they're not that bad priced. It's the arms that were pretty crazy. Uh, some of these arm parts and everything they do, that gets a little crazy. It's like some of them, I think, were, I think something I bought was like 60 bucks or something like that. It's crazy. Like, yeah, it was, that was, uh, but is what it is I got them it's working out pretty good so far time will only be the test so anyhow I wanted to share this video so if other people had trucks like this if you had a Chevy three-quarter ton I don't and the one ton 2022 I don't know if the half tons are the same way or not I have no idea but I thought the video would be helpful to share to folks. So mounting 67 designs phone holder to your three-quarter ton 2022 Chevy pickup truck that's a short title, right? Anyhow, gang, you have a good one. Like I said, 
Like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff keeps me from the bottom of the YouTube bucket. It isn't just knives here or a pretty face. It's product. <laughs> Y'all take it easy. Have a good one.